In today's video, we check out this rock candy classic from Daisy Rock. Hey everybody, before we get this video started, I need to let you know that if you're new here and you like seeing stuff like this, definitely go down and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're notified when a new video goes up. It'd be greatly appreciated. The goal is to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year, and if we do accomplish this, I would like to do a giveaway on stream over at my Twitch channel, which is coming soon. All important links in the bio. Let's go. So this... It's the Rock Candy Classic from Daisy Rock Guitars. So for some who don't know, Daisy Rock is a guitar company that was founded to prove that girls could rock too. Their main purpose was to make guitars that would best suit women, girls, for example, this guitar. And I think they're kind of cool. One of my favorite designs is the heart shaped guitar. I know that they teamed up with Cartoon Network in the past and made this cool Powerpuff Girls guitar. I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, this is the Rock Candy Classic. It's in atomic pink, very sparkly finish. Metallic-y, it's really cool. You got black binding on the sides, one volume, one tone, and a pickup switch. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this pickup switch. It's very stiff and hard to push unless you really get in there with it. So this guitar from the neck down was made with sycamore wood to make the guitar a little bit lighter than your typical Les Paul style guitars. It's a little heavy, but it's not as bad as like the Epiphone I have. This is a little bit lighter, feels nice. The entire guitar body has the atomic pink finish while the only part of the neck with the finish is the headstock in front. The back of the neck is just completely unfinished. It feels nice though. It doesn't feel dry. We got some Grover tuners here. I can't get the Grover logo in the shot. I don't think these are Rotomatics. I think these are cheaper Grover tuners, but they do the job. Here is the front of the headstock that has the atomic pink finish. It's got a logo that says DRC standing for Daisy Rock Candy. And then finally, as for the pickups, we got some Duncan Design pickups. Now, the difference between the Seymour Duncan pickups and the Duncan Design pickups is with the Duncan Design pickups, they are designed, as the name says, by Seymour Duncan. They wrote the blueprints. They said, hey, here's how these pickups are gonna be built. Here's how they're gonna be wounded. But they didn't build the pickups themselves. I think the pickups are made from a separate company an offshore company possibly in china since this entire guitar is made in china and what's kind of interesting about this guitar is my brother found this in a flea market a local flea market and they only wanted 200 dollars for it uh, it's very clean almost like new but the headstock is kind of dinged up on the top mostly on the points other than that this thing is like 99.8 percent clean i do like the shape of the headstock it's kind of a, like a prs headstock i think the guitar is pretty cool overall um if you have seen my epiphone les paul special 2 modification video then i'm just gonna spoil it right away these do not sound better than the epiphone uh the epiphone is obviously gonna sound more gritty because they're actual seymour duncan pickups but when it comes to appearance this guitar wins. This is really cool. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention, the front of the body isn't completely flat. It's got like an arch top kind of top going on. But yeah, very nice appearance. Very, very sparkly. Uh, not that heavy. It's decent, but it's not heavy, heavy. Um, overall, clean. The action is a lot better than I expected. I thought it was going to sound more buzzier acoustically. But no, it feels fine. Feels and sounds fine to me. Uh, so we're going to go through a quick demo of this guitar. We're going to do some cleans. We're going to give it some dirt. So for this demo, I'm going to be using Amplitude 5. We're going to give you some clean sounds through all the pickups. We're going to give you some dirty sounds. And then I'm going to let you know my overall opinions on this guitar. So with all that being said, here is the demo. Uh, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
My overall thoughts on this is it's really cool looking and it sounds pretty good for the money. This guitar stayed in tune pretty decently, so I forgot to mention before we went into the demo that there are star inlays instead of your typical dot inlays on this neck. Most of Daisy Rock's guitars will have those inlays and it's it's their signature thing. It's pretty neat. I was quite surprised with how this guitar sounded, especially through a dirty tone. I really enjoyed the bridge pickup on this thing. Uh, with the clean tones, I kind of had a problem. The neck pickup is a little more rumblier than the bridge pickup, so I had to turn the volume down just a hair on the neck pickup. The bridge pickup sounds nice and crisp in a clean tone. The middle position sounds fine. But yeah, man, Daisy Rod did pretty good on this one. I thoroughly enjoyed this guitar. I love the finish. I love the binding. Uh, this thing stayed in tune pretty decently. It sounded really good for the money. I'm pleased. I'm giving this guitar a solid 8.5 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video, definitely drop a like down below and comment. Let me know what you thought of this guitar. For anybody else who has played a Daisy Rod guitar, let me know what y'all thought in the comments below as well. Definitely hit subscribe if you like seeing videos like this and you want to see more. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, afternoon, or night, depending on when you're watching this. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.